Hey guys, I'm Bernie. And I'm Miles. And today we are doing another review of a web series that we have both recently watched. Today we are going to be talking about Game Shop. Game Shop, uh, you can find on the Start channel. That sounds weird, Start channel. But is that actually the name of the channel? I the, the name of the channel is Start. It's run through IGN. Uh, oh. the series. The series is 11 episodes long. Each episode range is from 5 to 10 minutes. It took me an hour and 20 minutes to watch this straight through. Took me a while because I was watching an episode and then doing another thing and then... Yeah. yeah. But it was a it was a pretty good series overall, I'd say. I, I want to use the words pretty good. I, yeah. Because I don't... It's not great. Yeah. It's not like, oh my god, you guys, you have to see this. Game Shop is about basically this group of friends that work at a, a game shop or a, sort of a GameStop ripoff. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's it's pretty funny. It's got its moments. But it, it, never, it never becomes great. I actually found that watching it it, I'd never really started enjoying myself until about episode five was when it really got good. Uh, I, I think they had a, an occasional good joke. I, I'm just going to say I didn't really like the way the whole like thing ended this season. And like it's at the end, I think it says like stay tuned for season two. And I don't know how excited I am about it, but yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm I, I'm. Not really anxiously awaiting season two, but... I'm going to probably watch it when it comes out and all, but... I'll probably watch it too, simply for the fact that, like I said, I never got into it until about episode five. But from episode five, I could I could feel this steady incline of, of potential. I could, I could feel them getting better as time went on, but it, it was just the first few episodes were kind of dull. And when you only have about seven minutes or eight minutes per episode and you don't have a, a real clear, a clear plot line, a clear linear story progression, every episode is sort of interchangeable, except for, for the last two or three episodes. But every other episode is pretty interchangeable. You don't have to watch them in, in sequence. So when, when each video is only about seven or eight minutes, it's hard to really get any message across or, or build to anything at all. Yeah, uh, what episode do you think would be your favorite, personally? Uh, well, episode five was the turning point for it. Uh, the episode where the the character of Terry, who is sort of like the... Terry is the gamer that that plays like the children's games, you know, the Pokemon and the, and I think there was a Dora the Explorer joke <laughs> thrown in there. Yeah. Yeah. He and the search mechanic in that door to the Explorer, the game was completely broken. <laughs> Swiper was too easy to find. Yeah. Uh, he and the Derek character, Derek being the halo call of duty, the FPS guy My kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, D Derek, Derek and Terry switched games for three days. So Derek would play the Pokemon and all the kitty games. And so you see Derek come back and he's wearing like a Charmander t-shirt and it's barely covering his stomach. And he, uh, he did something with Bree Grant's hair, with Chloe's hair. And he basically becomes this, you know, sort of, sort of a ninny. And uh, I, I thought that was funny. Yeah, and then uh, Terry, uh, I, I like how he got to play the FPS, and the second he saw somebody who was, like, robbing the store, he just looked at them, and he went all FPS mode on them. <laughs> yeah, he, um, sort of not really spoiler alertish, but he went after uh, a guy who was trying to take games off the shelf, like, pack games into his trench coat, and Terry grabs a Halo sword, uh, off, energy sword energy sword whatever off the uh, off the sh off the wall and attacks him with it and it's moments like these and you brought up earlier about the ending of the series 
It's moments like these where I'm not sure where the series is trying to go, whether it's going for like a realistic down to earth kind of vibe, or if it wants to be a little more uh, fantastical and a little more creative and imaginative, but but more in the in the well, it's a show, you know, not not so much realistic. Yeah. Personally, so, uh, we had, we just said it like episode. Wise, uh, your favorite was that one. I think yeah. my favorite episode would be the uh, the Minecraft episode. I-, I thought that was pretty funny because that's a lot of the stereotypes you run into in games. Igor, stop eating. Yeah, that's Miles when you play games and you talk <laughs> to him on Skype. It's like, Miles, just put the fucking Skittles down. <laughs> uh, I'm addicted to the rainbow. But, uh, but speaking of Igor, Igor, stop eating. Uh, Igor, uh, was one of my favorite characters. He was almost like the Zach Galifianakis, like the bumbling idiot kind of character. And, uh, one thing about the, the show that I really liked was Igor's interaction with Sebastian, who is the owner of the, of the store. And Sebastian is, plays that character of, of like businessman who is in debt and needs money. And has made a lot of bad business choices. And I love seeing that character. It's one of my favorite archetypes. The, so just seeing Sebastian and Igor talk to each other like, you know, unlucky businessman to bumbling idiot. Yeah. You know, I, I, I really enjoy that. Also, I just want to throw this in. After uh, talking about Video Game Reunion, I went back and watched it after Miles had told me about it and stuff. And it was actually a really good series. Yeah, so we're coming from watching this really good series, Video Game Reunion. Even about average series, or to, a little more. Yeah, to an okay kind of series. Where Video like, Game it, Reunion... It's better than anybody who just, like... Then most people are just going to upload a random thing. Like, this has production values and all, all that and whatnot. Yeah. So it, it's a good series. It's just we just came off really, really we're, good series. We're not... We're not going to sit here and talk mess about it. We're not talking down. No, no, because, exactly. It was still a good yeah, series. We're not, we're not directors. We're not filmmakers. We're not writers. We could not make it any better ourselves. Uh, we just talk about it and review it. So we're not you know, saying bad stuff about it. But we just came from it not overly hyped for season two. Although I would, I would like to see Brie Grant again. Uh, yeah, she was a pretty good character too. <laughs> speaking of Brie Brie Grant, uh, Chloe in the series, uh, some of my favorite things about this series were after each episode they would do they would do a uh, sort of the more you know kind of segment. Yeah, and, those were pretty funny some of the time. Yeah, one of my favorite ones was Brie Grant alluding to her NBC Heroes character. Yeah, because she had ran really fast. Because she ran the really episodes. fast. That the Minecraft episode I had mentioned. Yeah, and and uh, she she's really adorable. That that yeah. cute little gamer chick. That none of us know. <laughs> <laughs> none of us know in real life. Uh, but no, so overall, the series took you know an hour and a half of my time. It was a good time killer. I think it was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. You know, I if you got an hour and a half, people just should probably go out and watch it. <laughs> I enjoyed I enjoyed it. I wasn't blown away by it. I think uh season two, like I said, they have gotten better as time went on and I think they're finding their sort of I, I think they're getting comfortable with it. So I'm kind of looking forward to it, not blown away by it. I'd like to see some of the characters again. And there's there's not much there's not much else to say about it. It was it was good, not great. Uh, yeah, that's about my feelings. Not, not so much a thumbs up as it is a a bent thumbs up. Like <laughs> I I got nothing else to say for it. It's it was cool. It was neat. Yeah, that's about all I have to say about it too. All right. Well, until next time, this is Miles, and I'm Bernie. And thank you for listening to the Hit No Pig Reviews Game Shop. Yep, please uh, 
If you guys feel like it, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and like this video.